Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to see how to you know, tackle the negative frequencies in a molecular calculation Gaussian. Suppose you are doing any calculation using Gaussian and you got any imaginary frequency or the negative frequency in the geometry optimization process. So how to deal with that? How to you know uh, track, track all those negative frequencies and how to remove that? So we'll use uh, Gauss view or Gaussian software tool for doing all those calculations. Okay, let's get started. So first what I have done, I have taken one molecule, this is the methane with D4H symmetry. Okay, so you can see this molecule is totally planar with D4H symmetry. Now once you are doing the calculation for this molecule, you already know how to do the calculation general geometry optimization for any molecules. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can uh, see the video link in the description box. And okay, so this molecule I have optimized. And this is the input file .gjr file, the, the input file. And once you have optimized this using the minimum criteria or whatever uh, method you want to use, use it. Once it is over, this is the output file for this molecule. Okay, now uh, right click, go to the results menu. In the summary, you can see. In summary, you can see the two negative frequencies are there, right? So first we need to see these frequencies belongs to like what kind of frequency it is. Whether, whether it is soft frequency or it is a vibronic frequency, rotational, whatever. So we'll look into it first right click and go to the results menu and the vibrations now you have seen that two negative frequencies one is at 6000 6, roughly 6700 and another is minus 118 okay once you are clicking on this negative frequency you can animate that will tell you about the so this is the the ch vibration going up and down okay so now stop this vibration and see there are two ways to handle this negative frequency. First of all, uh, you can manually do it here in the Gauss view. And otherwise, what you have to do is, uh, in the output file, there will be a uh, matrix for this coordinate for this D4 asymmetry, okay? And there you can add this value, whatever displacement we are giving here, and then you can give that coordinate. That is another method. Since that is uh, tricky, not tricky method, means there is a lots of chance you will be doing mistakes. So use the Gauss view uh, like tool itself to tackle with these negative frequencies. So now you have this negative uh, 6700 something. You have seen what kind of frequency it was. It was the vibrational frequency of this CH bond, right? Going up and down. Now click on the manual displacement. Now make it to zero, means uh, from zero to one, okay? Now you can see this negative frequency is corresponding to this structure. Okay. Now, what you need to do is now this structure you need to save as an input for the further calculation. Okay. Right click, go to file menu, and save. And here you can write the. I assume this to be a tetrahedral. Okay. Fine. So that is the uh, one negative frequency and this is the another negative frequency we'll see this belongs to what this negative frequency is what all of these atoms going in one direction okay so you know this negative frequency is not going to give you the valuable geometry it's still is like minus 108 18 so you have to follow it what will happen is four hydrogens are going in one direction carbon is sitting on the top you just save the structure also save the structure okay and you have to do the again geometry optimization but this time what you need to do uh, i'll tell you one thing if you are following this molecule with this negative frequency again you'll be getting negative frequencies and at the end you'll be going up to the tetrahedral geometry only okay now uh, that structure we have saved right this td fine if just we are opening it 
uh, this td is not shown here what we can do is we'll again go there and, and delete this file we'll go to the output okay vibration active frequency multiple displacement okay save structure oh sorry sorry that time i forgot to uh, click on the save structure you need to save the structure okay now the structure uh, that geometry is saved in this format right click go to the file menu save now you have to save suppose i'm saving as td ch4 fine now this molecule is ready here yeah fine now you just run the calculation job over here okay you just calculate this molecule we'll go to the frequency and optimization process we'll use the minimal thing to just show you okay so this calculation will be done quickly and you'll be able to see so now whatever geometry you'll be getting will be having no negative frequency and there are the cases once you are following the negative frequency again there is a chance of getting negative frequency there are certain cases you may see and most of the time you need to trace out this negative frequency because that's important okay and generally not generally if like the negative frequency is below 50 or 40 and that negative frequency belongs to soft vibrational frequency not the vib uh, rotational or anything else in those cases we can ignore that negative frequency like there are the cases but certain cases we need to focus on that small negative frequency also that we have to decide like using our chemistry knowledge we have to decide whether that negative frequency is important or not okay so in this case this geometry optimization process is over we'll open the output file and the geometry is ready okay go to the result menu summary and you can see the zero negative frequency now means this is a minima but still the point group you are getting is d 2 d not the tetrahedral td right why because you got a local minima not the you know global minima so what you have to do is to get the uh, global minima go to the tool menu find group and you know that this molecule has td symmetry tetrahedral symmetry enable the point group now it is d to d on giving the point not one angstrom uh, tolerance will be getting this td click on the symmetrize now this is a td geometry again what you do click on ok and save this and again you run a calculation using this then you will be getting a tetrahedral symmetry this is the way you can you know uh, tackle the negative frequency in your molecular calculation if you have any doubt put in the comment box thank you for watching the videos